There's over 50 weapons in Warzone 2, but I'm gonna narrow it down to just 5. As always, if you enjoy, sub for more, leave a like, notifications on, drop a comment, all of that stuff. And let's go. The TAC 56. We all know by now that this is 100% meta, and this build has very low recoil, even though I just missed half of my shots. So starting this off, we have the Harbinger D20, mainly to focus on the recoil control, bullet velocity and range. This is how you want to tune it. We then have the barrel, which is going to be the Tundra Pro barrel. You want to tune this for more damage range and more recoil. It's going to overall just increase the accuracy and range. You then want to use the FTAC Ripper 56 under barrel. This is definitely one of the best under barrels when it comes to increasing the recoil control. You want to tune this for more recoil stabilization and more aiming idle stability. We then have the 60 round magazine and then the AIM OPV4 optic, which is a super clean optic. And you want to tune this for more flinch resistance and you want to tune it all the way to the far eye position. Coming in next, we have the Lackman sub, the MP5, whatever you want to call it. This is definitely meta, very high mobility, great TTK. Let's get straight into the build. So to start it off, we have the RR40 muzzle. This is going to suppress the weapon and it's going to increase the recoil control, damage range, bullet velocity. You want to tune this for more ADS and more bullet velocity. You then want to use this laser. It increases ADS and sprint fire speed and it honestly is a game changer. You then want to use the 40 round magazine and the stockless mod increasing the overall mobility and then the rear grip which increases the recoil control. On to the next one, the Fennec. This is definitely one of the fastest TTK SMGs in the game right now. Let's hop straight in to the build. We're going to be starting off with the muzzle, which is going to increase the overall recoil control. You do want to stick this on because this weapon does have a lot of kick to it because of the really, really fast fire rate. We're then going to be using the same laser as on the MP5, increasing the ADS and the sprint fire speed. We have the phase three under barrel grip, increasing the overall accuracy. Once again, it's definitely needed. It has a very quick fire rate which leads to quite a lot of kick whenever you shoot. We then have the 45 round magazine, once again super needed because this weapon does have a really fast fire rate, so you're going to be running out of bullets quite often. And then finally we have the stock which is going to increase the mobility. You want to tune this for more mobility. Let's get on to the next one, which is the RAL MG. I have specifically made this class to have very low recoil, so you want to use the muzzle and then you want to tune it for more recoil smoothness and more aiming idle stability. We then have the Rhino Barrel increasing the recoil steadiness on the tuning and then more ADS speed. This is just going to increase overall recoil control and more bullet velocity. To increase the recoil control even more, we have the side grip, which is going to increase the overall accuracy pretty much in every aspect. You Want to increase the aiming idle stability and then give it some more ADS time. The high velocity ammunition type goes really well with this weapon because it's already got incredible bullet velocity so with this specific attachment it's going to increase the bullet velocity even more and this is how you want to tune it. Finishing it off we have the aim opv v4 optic once again very clean optic and you want to increase the ADS and pull it all the way to the far end. This is the full class. And finishing the video off, we have the TAC V, which is basically the TAC 56's older brother. More damage, a little bit more recoil, but this thing is very, very good. You want to start it off with the muzzle, increasing the accuracy and range, and this is how you want to tune it. We then have the best underbrow in the game when it comes to control and recoil. We have the F TAC Ripper. Tune it like this, and then we have the high velocity ammo type once again. Want to increase the bullet velocity on this one and the damage range. And then we have the 50 round drum, and of course the optic. That is the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe for more straight to the point Call of Duty content just like this. And I hope you enjoy. Peace out.